What's up guys, Corvus985 here and welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Show Down Random Ball series. So we've been on a bit of a losing streak in the past three or four episodes. Hopefully we can turn that around and get more victories than defeats in this episode. So without further ado, let's get on the way with ball number one. We're against a Cynthia trainer here. And we have a Glalie against a Latias. Go for the return of the spikes. Let's go for the return. It's a two hit KO and I outspeed, which is very nice. Let's go for the return and spin it. It's a two hit KO. Did disable return, unfortunately. Let's go for EQ. Take out the bayonet. So Galilee's doing very well so far. Magnazone's gonna come out. Let's go for the freeze dry to pop the balloon. Gonna have to take a flash cannon. Now we can go EQ. Latias can come in. Champ comes in actually. Ah. Let's try and get some spikes up. Get okay, one layer up, which is nice, and we'll go for a return. I have a Machamp. I also have a Machamp. Don't really have anything for a Machamp. Which is a bit of a problem. They have like the exact same set as me as well. Um, oh no, they don't. My Machamp. Let's go for Substitute. A Cress is coming out, which is nice for me because I have Knock Off. It goes for the Calm Mind. Knock Off does a decent amount. We should be able to get a Dynamic Punch off to confuse it. Go for another knockoff, and it should KO this turn. Snapped out confusion, gets a side shock off, but it should go down. It does. Well done, my champ. Taking out a crest, and let's go for a knockoff on the Latius as well. It is a mega Latius. Goes for the surf, takes me out. Bit annoying there. Nothing I can't do something to. 209. Go all target. Let's go Dragon Dance. The Chansey comes in. Let's go EQ. Champ comes in. Let's go for the outrage. It's two a kill, unfortunately. He knows I'm forced to go for outrage again. So the Magna Zone should come in here. Megalatius comes in. Don't know why. Magnazone should have came in every single time because that just won me the game. Because it would have survived the outrage and then I wouldn't have been able to get an EQ off. So we win that match, which is 
good start to the episode. I don't know what you feel about me using this much karma tone for these videos. You'll have to tell us in the comments down below whether you prefer this or you prefer my other method of making videos. Hmm. We have poker sash. Let's go lay up spikes. Play rough. It's okay. We actually have speed. Let's go for the destiny bond. And we take down a Zoomeral. Oh, well done, Dadabird. I think we go... Command pop. That was a good play by me, turns out. And let's go for the... He outspeeds. Let's go for the Sucker Punch, because he's definitely going for an attack. Retaliate does take me out, unfortunately. Should have actually went for a Mac Punch. Okay, so I can set up on him if I have anything to set up with. Which I unfortunately do not. Let's go Electros. Let's go for the Superpower. question is, will he switch? He's thinking hard. He definitely has reason to switch. Because having a choice bandit slacking is very decent to have. Although, it doesn't do as much damage as you think it would. But that Choice Banded Retaliate after one of your Pokemon's just fainted just does amazing amounts of damage. What's he gonna do? I'll bring you back when he makes a move. Made a move, swapped down the Tug Kiss. Brilliant play by him. Have to say. But we do have T Bolt. Which means the talk case should go down next turn. Mixed Electros is actually really good. Mixed Pokemon in general work quite well. Like I, I like mixed Hydreigon or Hydreigon with Superpower and Draco Meteor. I mean Talk Case is a perfect counter for Hydreigon. And I will bring him back again when he makes a move. Oh no, he made a move. And he got the flinch. Of course he did. Of course he got the flinch. Makes perfect sense that he would get the flinch. How much did Thunderbolt do originally? 72%, so he dies to this. Unless he switches out, of course. Let's go flamethrower. Goes for the yawn. Fine with me. You want me to switch out? Why would I switch out when you have to switch next turn? Let's just go for the superpower. Retaliate, that's fine. So I think I go out in the key around, go for the substitute. Because if he switches, it's good for me. If he stays in, he's stuck. Um, in tru Truant and most likely stuck using Retaliate which doesn't get the boost from using it just after a Pokemon's fainted. So he withdraws, goes it back out in the Togekiss which was a risky play considering I could easily have Electric or Ice type moves and of course I do have Ice Beam which will kill the Togekiss. I think he was just doing that to get the Retaliate boost. Oh no, he went out in the wall of rain, which is interesting play. Do I want, what's my special, my attack so much higher? Let's go for the earth power, see how much it does. It does very, very little. 
very little, like a worryingly low amount. Sleep powder, whatever wants to do anything. Or do I just go for the Giga Drain? He outspeeds, so. Giga Drain's not gonna do much. It'll probably do like 30%. Of course, Sleep Powder misses. That's why I didn't want to go for Sleep Powder. That's why I would have preferred to go Giga Drain. Against a Wolverine, I think I go for Drapion. And go for the knockoff, first of all. Get rid of the lefties. And now I just set up Toxic Spikes. Switching out will actually be a really good play for him now. Get the regular poison instead of toxic poison. I think he wins this though because Kiram can't really do much. If that's Choice Scarf slacking, it definitely can't. Let's go Outrage. It's a two hit KO unfortunately on the ball rain, which means I'm not going to kill a slacking and one hit with it. And Retaliate's going to absolutely destroy me. Goodbye, Kieran. <laughs> Good game. Nico Tonks, we have def been defeated by, and now we're playing Drain. We start off with a Roserade against his Farfetch, and as much as I'd like to see Farfetch get a kill, I'm not going to let it get a kill. Let's go on to Agron. So this is quite an underpowered set of Pokemon here. Let's go Rock Polish. Go for a Leaf Blade. If I was Mega Agron, that would be amazing. That puts me at 250, that's not actually much. Let's go for another one. Did he just get two critical hits in a row? He did. Now let's go for the heavy slam. It's a two hit kill. Three critical hits in a row. Do you have super luck? No, you just got three critical hits in a row by chance. You just happen to get three hits in a row. Critical hits in a row. How? Give me your luck. Drain, are you hacking the game? Or are you holding like a... What's the item that gives you a higher critical hit ratio? Because I know Leaf Blade obviously has a high critical hit ratio. But it still shouldn't hit three times in a row with a critical hit. It's not Gen 1. Brave Bird was a critical hit as well. That doesn't have a high crit ratio. Four critical hits in a row. How? Even doesn't the item the item only increases it by one stage. So that's only like a ten percent chance or something. Farfetch goes down to the heavy slam. This all depends on what he brings in. A rush ram. Right. That's 120, that's 90, they're both neutral. So I think no kick's the best player. That's very risky, because I could add a earthquake or something. Go low kick. It's 33%. He should outspeed me at this point. Let's go for another low kick. I don't know why I'm staying in at this point. How to stay have a rush around compared to my team? Critical hit, very nice. He's going to outspeed, unfortunately, now. But still, compared to my team, him having a Reshu Ram is not fair at all. This has been one of my problems, why I've been losing consistently more than I've been winning. It's just because my opponent's Pokemon have been so much 
like they'll have one punk man that just stands out compared to the rest of my punk man. So I think Heavy Sam's the best player here. Goes for the Giga Drain, that's fine. Didn't really benefit him much. And we can go for... We can go for Spore, so we'll have to watch out for that. Um, Fiona, that'll work. Let's go Ice Beam. Because even if he does go for Spore, I have a Chest Strawberry. I don't know how much it'll actually do. I can't remember if moving this is physically or specially defensive. That does 49%, so it won't kill. Let's just hope that it does. It doesn't. It only did 43 that time. We should pick up the kill here. But I do have a Fiona with 2% health, that means. Well, if I had Speedware that he brings in, I can go for Rest. I could have gone for Rest there, but I think that Gengamunga said, okay, I can't really rest on this, can I? Let's try it. You went for the Tailwind. Well, that's quite nice. It means I get a free Ice Beam off. I mean, he is not going to kill me this turn, yeah. There's no way he was killing with one move, even if he did go Hurricane. Fiona is quite weak, but it's not that weak. He's going to go out into a Chinchino, which is an annoying thing. And here, the Bullet Seed may be coming through. No, the tail slap is. Oh. I do live it, and I get scald off. Come on, burn. I never get burns from scald anymore. I used to get them all the time, but I don't anymore. Tail slap takes me out, but tailwind is gone. It's 227. Nothing I have outspeeds that. A mega Odino. That seems so useless. Um, I guess I go out in a Roserade and go for the Sludge Bomb. Let's do that. Because Shinshino doesn't get any move that's super effective against me. He misses his Tail Slap. Sludge Bomb does take him out. I hope Tail Slap wouldn't have taken me out. Because... I'm, I suppose I had less physical. What was Fiona? Yeah, it had more physical defense than me, so it probably would have taken me out. Misses his hurricane as well, which is very unfortunate. And I get the poison. Wow. This has been an unfortunate series of events for my opponent. Hurricane takes me down to my sash. He takes a life of damage, he goes down to the sludge bomb. And now whatever he has is a Heracross. Let's go for the sludge bomb. I'll let him take me out. Actually he's gonna get a Moxie boost, doesn't he? It doesn't matter. He didn't go for the Moxie boost. Went for the pin missile. I guess we go Pelipper. And go for the Hurricane. Interesting that he outspeeds. I suppose it doesn't lose that much speed when it mega evolves. He doesn't have Rock Blast. It's good to know. Hurricane takes out the Heracross and good game. And we pick up two victories. First time we've done that in quite a while. So we are going to go positive for today, guys. If you've enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And from me, Corvus Night 5, thank you guys so much for watching.